Ashland, Mississippi isn't the biggest town in the world, but there's something special about it. It's the home of TCI, a leading manufacturer of automotive transmission and drivetrain components for over 40 years. Today on this segment of Power TV, we're going to take you all the way to Ashland to show you how TCI actually makes a torque converter. From OEM replacement to full race, TCI parts are designed and manufactured using cutting-edge technology and some of the top engineering in the industry. And when it comes to torque converters, well, that's TCI's namesake. But what is it that actually goes into the design and assembly of a torque converter? Consider this a rare inside look into TCI's facilities to see exactly how it's made. So what exactly is a torque converter? This circular piece of metal that stands between your engine and transmission really is a fluid coupling device that acts as a torque multiplier during initial acceleration. The converter consists of four primary components. The cover, also referred to as a front, which serves to attach the converter to the flex plate and contain the fluid. The turbine, which rides within the cover and is attached to the input shaft of the transmission. The stator, which can be described as the brain of the torque converter, changes fluid flow between the turbine and the pump. And lastly, there's the impeller pump, the outside half of the converter on the transmission side, which drives the fluid around its outside diameter into the turbine, as well as turns the pump gears in the transmission. TCI makes torque converters for daily driven towing applications, weekend street rods, circle track applications, as well as drag cars pushing 3,000 plus horsepower. But one thing all of their torque converters have in common is that the same engineering and quality control methods are used in every application regardless. Through the years, TCI has evolved into one of the leading torque converter companies. This starts with design and engineering. Here, TCI uses multiple programs with proprietary design software, using both static and dynamic computer models, to design hundreds of possible stator configurations, as well as hubs and fronts. This ensures that each piece is precision built to exact tolerances. Once the design process has been completed, the next step is prototyping, where a one-off piece goes through extensive testing procedures. Once the results are satisfactory, they move on to the real-world testing at the track and or on the street. Many of the components that are used in a TCI torque converter are new pieces that have been CAD designed, but in some applications, TCI still uses a few of the stock components. Every core piece goes through a vigorous inspection process before it's given the okay to be used. The core inspection process begins before the converter is cut open. After it's cut open, the impeller and turbine are inspected to make sure the fins are not damaged. From there, they are sent out to be furnace brazed, which welds the fins in place. In some applications, the fins are hand brazed, giving them twice the strength. The turbine splines and sprag races are CNC machined and broached in-house before being sent out for heat treating. The cast steel stators used in race and high performance street applications are machined from an 8620 alloy steel. All in all, every piece is built or assembled by a machinist right here in Ashland and then inspected to ensure it meets quality control specifications. This is where the TCI converter is assembled. It's a fascinating process to watch, where the components begin to morph into that converter shape you are so familiar with. Once the individual components for the converter have been built, the builder takes each piece and verifies that it meets quality control specs. The fins are bent to exact specifications to set the stall range. Then the remaining components are assembled together and the clearances are checked. The converter then goes through a steam cleaner prior to undergoing the inspection process of checking each measurement one final time before welded together. The converter is then welded on an automatic turntable welder that holds the hub and pilot in alignment. Once the welding process is completed, it's moved to the final inspection area. Here in the inspection and testing area, TCI air checks the converter with extremely high air pressure. The hub and bowl run out are then checked to ensure the alignment of the pilot and hub is within tolerance. From there, it's moved to the balancer, where it's spun balanced to within 10 grams. The converter goes through a final inspection check of the end play, overall specs, and cosmetic appearance. Once the final inspections are completed, TCI's proprietary heat dissipating technology coating is applied. 
TCI claims this specialized coating dissipates heat, which helps in street applications using a high stall converter. After all, the cooler the fluid, the more consistent the car will be at the track. Finally, before shipping, TCI tests their torque converters on their R&D dyno to check the stall speed, fluid flow, and overall performance of the converter. It's a lot of critical steps from the design and engineering all the way to the box, but hundreds of torque converters are assembled every week, soon to find homes in hot rods, muscle cars, and drag racing cars like yours. For over 40 years, TCI has been helping set the standard in the industry with modern engineering and design technology. Now, the next time you're installing a higher stall performance converter in your street rod or all-out race car, you'll know more than you ever imagined how it was designed and built.